Hi, welcome to a 2 knowledgecom So today we are going to discuss about how to create an account in uh, Google Cloud and then how to uh, enable the services for usage. So uh, we have some leading cloud providers, right? We have AWS and then we have Google Cloud, we have Kubel and then we have Microsoft, IBM. So, so many uh, uh, top leading cloud providers are there. So Google Compute Cloud or Google uh, Cloud Platform, we can call it as uh, either ways and they are also one of the famous provider. And now we are going to see how to do uh, account creation and then enabling the services to make use of it fine now uh, you you just log in uh, to your google account so gmail and then you open a new tab and go to url um, log on to cloud.google.com and you will get this page and where you can see uh, uh, a link called the console you just click this console so uh, by default google uh, cloud platform provides you some offer so 200 to 300 dollars of usage is free for you. you can activate so for me it shows an inr uh, so like i have already activated it it is just showing the status so if you want you just the first thing you need to activate so when you activate this offer right you have to add your uh, credit card for the billing okay so when, when i say the billing once the free trial is completed for the extra usage they will charge and they won't automatically get money from your bank until you perform the action payment okay so so that we don't want to worry oh since we are adding my card and then how come they can take money automatically when i use extra charges no they will inform you but still you can learn all their terms and condition with respect to the payment so automatically when you activate the offer it, it takes you to the page where you need to add the card but manually you want to add you can go for the billing option and then the billing you can see a payment method so where you can if you click this payment method where you can add your card details debit or credit card and then initially they will uh, they will uh, uh, get uh, they will take one rupee in INR I'm saying so uh, how about other currencies I'm I'm not sure so they will just take one rupee just for testing okay fine now uh, after getting into the console um, you have to uh, create a new project okay so now i have a project here already created as test but you will have some default uh, project name here you just click this you will get an option new project where you can create some project i have already created as test now what is the next step okay so we activated the offer we added the billing uh, stuff and then now we created the uh, project as well now you have to enable the service which you need so you have services like map service youtube service adsense adwords so many services are there uh, from the developer perspective you have to integrate with these services to perform some kind of an work so now i'm going to show you how to enable a service in a map okay maps google maps so if you see uh, people are uh, people like uber ola and then uh, food food apps like uh, Zomato, Swiggy, Uber Eats. So these uh, people, startups are using this Google Map for the location service, right? So uh, when you when you open the app and when you see the map, it's not Uber app or Ola app. It's it's a Google app actually. So they are using their services, right? So uh, uh, this is this is how they will also use. So they create an account, they enable, they go to API services, they will enable the map service and they will use it. Okay. So whatever the service you want, you can use it. Not only the map. So go to API service. Which where you can see the dashboard okay oh, sorry not the dashboard just click that api services yes okay the same page dashboard only fine so here you can see enable app and services yeah this you have to click and once you click this you will get the search option where you can find all the uh, services which you want to enable so i'm going to just type map so you can see so many map services are there for example i i take maps embedded api you have to enable this service okay so i can show you uh, one service which i have already enabled it which is called map static api so which will uh, allow me to write a minimum amount of code to interact with the map and then get the uh, map informations about the locations okay so now i can show you this so I have enabled this for a use case what I have done. So I have written a Python code to uh, get all the location image of the map as a file and get stored in my local disk. Okay. So for that reason, I've just enabled it. So once you enable that, you will see a link called manage. You just click this. So it will take you to the map uh, API, the, the respective services dashboard, the page. Here, the very important, the next step, you have enabled it. Now the next step is, uh, you have you can see something called credentials. Click this. 
So this credential part is very important. So in if you click this credential, you will see create an API. So you have to create, you will get a button or link something like that to create an API. So this API key is very, very important to connect with your uh, Google Cloud from your application. It's like act as a password. Okay, kind of, kind of, not exactly, kind of. So for example, I can show you a code which I used to, uh, which I have written for connecting with the map services. So this is a code, maybe this code as a separate video I have already explained and that link is also there in the description box of this video, you can watch it. But I just want to show you how we are using this API key in the code. So this is how we are using. So we create a string and then we will pass the API key and we will use it in our code somewhere in the URL. So. When, when when Google Cloud receives a request from a program or a service, it requires an API to connect, else you won't get connected with your Google Cloud. Okay, so this is this is where we are using this API key, but kind of, it's like a access a gateway, not exactly the password, it acts as a gateway, but then how to restrict the usage and the access for the API key, when you click this, you have the options to do, but I can show you that in a separate video here, I have made this key as a public, so anyone can use the key. But in the, the real time, we used to see you have options to restrict access, right? So, and that's all. So now you can write a program to connect with your uh, uh, code and then you Google Cloud and you can do anything. So the steps, what we have done, you created the account, you activated the offer, you have added your billing methods. And then, and finally, like we enabled a service called map and then we managed, you click manage button in the service page and then we redirected to this page, right? So we redirect it to this page where you have to click credentials and then add your API key. So for each and every service you enable, go to the credential and make use of the API key and then you connect with your code. So this is how we have to activate, uh, create an account in Google Cloud and then this is how we have to start. So this video agenda is just to show you a demo how to do all this. And uh, thanks for watching a2setknowledge.com. And as I told you, there is a, a program, a link provided in the description box, how to connect Python to this cloud platform to get the map information as image so that is one example but i can show you some other examples in future with all the services with respect to the google cloud uh, uh, so thanks for watching a2z knowledge.com once again and please subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues we provide tech videos in two languages english and tamil and many uh, technologies not only python or google cloud we provide so many other languages and stuff just go ahead and look into my videos and thanks for watching